Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Friday, July the 24th. Another day, another victory for the New York Yankees as they head on a road trip now to Minnesota. Starting tonight against their old pal Phil Hughes. The Yankees, 12 games over 500, a big lead in the American League East. And you look up at the standings right now, and there's a good chance, and it's a good bet to place on the Yankees to be heading back to October baseball for the first time since being in the ALCS in 2012. The Yankees are good folks. I mean, it is time to go past the when is the other shoe going to drop. The Yankees are a really good team. And outside of the Toronto Blue Jays, who are basically a 500 team and have been all year, they're trying to make moves, trying to get better, trying to land a big pitcher. Outside of the Blue Jays, you can't take the Rays seriously in this division. The Red Sox are a tire fire. And the Orioles can't get out of their own way and certainly can't beat the Yankees. The road to October has been paved and the Yankees Look great. Right now, baseball prospectus gives the Yankees an 84% chance of playing in the postseason. And just beyond that, let's let's go further than that. They give the Yankees the fourth best overall chance in all of baseball of winning the World Series. This was a team coming into the year and what said, the, uh, this is going to be it. They're going to finally finish below 500. It's going to be a bad year. Too many question marks. Too many older players. Well, seemingly all of those question marks have come up right for the Yankees. The managing of Joe Girardi, the way this team has been assembled, it has actually worked. And it's worked to a way and in a way that most fans could have never envisioned. Tanaka is healthy and pitching well for the Yankees. Teixeira and A-Rod in the middle of the lineup have been outstanding, hitting basically as well as they have together at the same time. Since 2009, the one through five in the Yankee order when they're in there together is as good as any in Major League Baseball. That is something we haven't been able to say in a very long time. From Ellsbury with a home run yesterday to Brett Gardner to the 3-4-5 in some order, whatever day it is, whatever order they put them, of Teixeira, A-Rod, Brian McCann. The Yankees are a really good team, and they have a formula that should do well in a very wide open American League postseason. Now we're thinking ahead here, but you look at the numbers and you think the Yankees have a good chance to get to October, to win the American League East, and well then what happens when they get there? Well, this isn't the NL. It's, it's the opposite of what used to be. The AL used to be the gauntlet to get through the American the postseason. Now it's the NL. The NL has the Dodgers and the Nationals and the Cardinals and the Pirates. If you get to the World Series out of the NL, you're really going to earn it. The AL, the Royals, yes, they were there last year and they're good again, but their starting pitching is a complete mess. The Angels, their pitching isn't great. And outside of Trout and Pujols, their lineup is very manageable to get through. The Astros, they've never been there before. There's not great teams in the American League right now. The Yankees, if they do get to the postseason, if they do cash in on that 84% chance, have as good of a chance as anyone to get not only to the postseason, but through the postseason. With a couple of big-time starting pitchers in Tanaka and Pineda, with a great bullpen at the end, with Miller and Batantis, and with the top of the lineup that is as good as anyone in baseball, the Yankees here on July the 24th, in a season without drama, in a season without all of the usual around the Yankees, can start moving forward here, and you can start thinking about the Yankees as a legitimate World Series contender for the first time in years. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.